Welcome back to another video. Hello there, it's a groggy daylight savings day. <laughs> it is, it's daylight savings here. I'm filming on a weekend because I wanna show you how we stay on track on the weekend. Weekends are hard, let alone when you're adding in things like daylight savings. When you're feeling tired and overwhelmed, like one of the easiest things to do is just to reach for takeaways, convenience food, that kind of thing. Yep. We wanna show you how it's possible that you can stay on track with your goals, so that you can keep moving forward and still have an amazing weekend too. My weekend started off with kind of a false start. I got the babies loaded into the stroller, we started walking and we had to just go back home because things were just falling apart. So while they napped, I did a bit of work and I still haven't had a shower. Have you had a shower yet? I have not, thanks for asking. Um, no, it sounds like everyone needed a nap at that point. Oh yeah, so. Dave. Dave got up with the twins and I slept because Revy woke up and it was like 4 a.m. or something when she woke up this morning. Okay. And I got her back to sleep and I was like, we can't be starting our day at 4 a.m. This is gonna go so badly. So Dave took one for the team and he got up with the twins and I slept and then... And then I slept <laughs> from like, what, 9 till 10.30? Yeah, which you needed that, I think. I think so. Yeah. So we're feeling a lot more well rested, I think. Although we don't look at we don't we definitely don't look at we definitely don't look at but feeling better yeah <laughs> and half we, awake yeah and uh, ready to somewhat tackle the day the twins at least look really cute in their clothes they and they look, look like normal yeah. like normal clothes whereas we're just wearing whatever we could kind of throw on at a moment's notice yeah, they're like guys you look terrible what's going on <laughs> we've packed up their lunch we're gonna go head out we desperately need a coffee. So, come with us on this fun weekend. This is some mushrooms and an egg. Two poached eggs, right? Yeah. You ordered it with the bread on the side. I did. It did not come with the bread on the side. I also ordered two coffees with cream on the side. Did not get cream on the side. <laughs> busy I haven't had a moment to talk to you but I'm just watching the twins on my phone they're playing in the playroom and I've got I think like literally a few minutes just to kind of put on some makeup to feel a little bit more human Dave's on his way home he went to the gym while the babies napped I did some work and that was really good I desperately needed to to do that but wow it's so hectic when the babies got up from their nap I made a really quick snack, which was just some keto crackers, cheese, sugar-free, low-carb, keto-friendly tomato relish, and some salami that was left over from last night. <sighs> Having those kinds of foods right now with the season of life I'm in is so handy because sometimes I just don't have a moment to make a full lunch or meal like I used to. So being able to snack like that is crucial. Weekends can be even busier than weekdays because we're taking the babies out, we're seeing friends, we're trying to do like activities and all of that is just so busy. I also find that having things like those keto crackers on hand are amazing for weekends because if you're heading to a friend's house and they're having something like a cheese board then you've got an option that you can just bring with you and you can just add it to all the other things that they've got. 
The same goes for having little keto sweet treats, that kind of thing as well. You can bring those with you, pop it in your purse. So if you are out and about somewhere and they don't have many keto options and you see other people getting sweet things and you feel left out, then you've got options as well. The place that we ate lunch at honestly didn't have many keto options at all. And it was honestly kind of disappointing the price we paid for the food that we got. Dave and I just decided to share like I just shared the baby's food because they just had a beef patty, cheeseburger, and they had fries. And I knew that they wouldn't probably eat much of the cheeseburger. So I just ate the patty, gave them some bread and some fries, and they had like a little bit of the burger patty itself. But for Dave, he ordered eggs and mushrooms on toast. He asked for the toast on the side. Some places are amazing. And if you ask, they'll substitute that toast for something else like greens or something even if you pay a little bit extra um, they'll be able to customize it for you but the place we went to they're not super accommodating honestly sometimes you win sometimes you lose it's not perfect and that's okay because it's just about doing your best and on weekends i think it's really important to give yourself extra grace because we can't all just you know be cooped up inside our house making all of our meals you know all the time to know exactly what's in everything you just kind of have to make the best choice that is available to you and that fits within like your budget and what's going on and it all kind of figures itself out so if weekends are stressing you out because of that then i hope that if you just kind of try to relax about them and take that approach that it doesn't have to be all or nothing that you can just kind of do your best then it might make it a bit more enjoyable more fun I do really try to stay on track as much as possible on the weekend because I used to find that I would blow out on the weekend, eat takeaways, eat junk food, eat all that stuff and drink a ton, be hungover, just all of that and I would then start Monday back where I had ended the week on Friday. After all my successes during the week I had undone everything and was starting back at the beginning every week. I just got sick of that hamster wheel. If you're in a weight loss phase. Definitely things are a bit more challenging. You have to be a bit more strict and stringent with the foods that you're having. But if you're in a maintenance phase, then you've got a lot more flexibility. And pretty soon, I'm excited, but I'm excited to say this, I'm pretty soon I'm going to be at my maintenance phase, I think. I never had a goal weight in mind when I was losing the baby weight, but now I'm weighing less than I was when I got pregnant with the twins. Once I got pregnant with the twins, I already was about seven kilos heavier than my like lowest weight. And I had just been putting on weight after our recurrent pregnancy losses, just kind of turning to food for comfort and that kind of thing. So it's nice to be getting back to where I was previously. And we'll see. We'll see, but at the moment I'm still allowing my body to kind of settle into where I think it wants to naturally be. Once you are at your maintenance phase, though, you can be a lot less strict about things. You can have more foods, more things open up, and I'm excited to share that with you when I get to that place myself. <sighs> but anyway, so far, today is going, like I said, hectic, so hectic, but I'm gonna get the babies ready. We're gonna get in the car, we're gonna go do groceries. As you've seen in previous vlogs, I have my groceries on my phone because we use the Well Club app, the recipes on the Well Club app, and our recipe feature just automatically pops them onto our shopping list, which is incredible. Get groceries done, come back, do a mad tidy up, get the babies fed, and we're gonna make fakeaways together tonight because that is another thing I really find helps a ton on the weekends is having fakeaways and like recipes that are a little bit different than what you'd have during the weekdays, just kind of makes it feel a bit more special.
Jadi di bumi ya Oh You did it Babies are down, not asleep, but they're down. This means Dave and I can tidy up. I can put away the groceries, show you guys some of the things we got. Tidy up the house super fast. And then we can make dinner together. Dinner tonight is fake ways. It is so yum. This is a recipe you're gonna love. Tidy up is in full force. Let me show you some of the groceries while I'm putting them away. First thing we got was our favorite unsweetened Greek style yogurt. I love this one. It's a little bit higher in carbs than the lowest one available in New Zealand on the market, but it's really high in protein and I love that. I love higher fat, high protein kind of yogurt. It's super yum. Got a top up of mozzarella cheese. This is used in our favorite keto pizza bases. I got a spaghetti squash. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll see that I shared how to cook this. I am obsessed with spaghetti squash. It's a great low carb keto friendly pasta alternative that in season right now and they are so yummy. I got a celery. I really love snacking on celery. I love the crunch, it's so good. But I always make sure that once I get the celery, I try to prep it before it goes in the fridge. So that's my goal next. I got some lettuce, two types. This one here is romaine lettuce and it's like a longer leaf. Whereas this one here is iceberg lettuce. This is amazing. On the front of the pack, it actually says scoop wrap. It makes a great scoop or keto friendly wrap if you're following a low carb diet. And I'm gonna be playing around with some new recipes with this baby this week. I went a bit crazy on the radishes because they were on sale, but I love radish and it's one of my favorite snacks. So I'm gonna pop this in the sink and wash it off to prep this to go in the fridge. Got two types of broccoli, broccolini and broccoli. The babies will eat this one. Baby spinach, capsicums or bell peppers. This is our protein stack for the week. I got beef mints. We always get just the cheapest one. Got sirloin steak, a couple of those, one for Dave and one for me. Got some pork and fennel sausages. These ones are reduced for quick sale, so I'm gonna cook them up. I also got the twins a piece of steak to pop in the slow cooker. Lamb steak also for the twinnies, making them some more recipes. And boneless chicken thighs were on sale, so we stocked up on those. The other thing I got, which was pretty fun, is this. I haven't tried this before. This is called Sodaly, and it's like, it's insanely, insanely low carb. Per can, it says it's 0.3 grams of carbs, and it's sweetened with erythritol and stevia, which is so exciting. It's a probiotic soda. Quite expensive, but I got two flavors because I really want to try. So I got this one, lemon squash, and also passion fruit. I'll pop this in the fridge so we can try this out with dinner. And let's pack this away and have some food. I am so excited to be making dinner with you tonight. This is one of our favorite recipes. If you're craving fakeaways, you need to make this. I start out with some pork mints and add in some garlic and some minced ginger, and I let that simmer away. Make sure that you're breaking up the meat in the pan. I chop up some mushrooms and add this in once the meat has started to brown. Mix it really well to combine. Add in soy sauce, or you can use tamari or coconut aminos, some fish sauce, and these noodles that I love to use, they're cognac noodles. They look kind of strange. They come in these packs and the water smells terrible. So make sure that you rinse them really, really well underneath a running tap. Add them straight into your pan with no oil and dry fry them. If you've tried them before but you hate them, try this method. I then add in some fresh coleslaw mix. I just chopped up some carrot and some cabbage into the pan along with sesame oil, more soy sauce and a little bit of rice wine vinegar. Taste this and see what you like and make any changes. Into your bowl, you add in some of the cognac noodles. These are zero calorie, keto friendly, super high in fiber, and honestly, they taste so good. Garnish with spring onions and garnish with fresh coriander, and that's it. It's really nice. 
nice. It's nice, eh? Mm. It's, what are your weekend tips? Um, remember why you started. And if you've had a hard week, just don't give in. Yeah. He's coming down with something, so he's not feeling his best. But we don't have wine a ton, do we? No. No. I don't know, today was just a really intense day that I was like, I could really, I really feel like one. And my friend introduced me to that $11 wine and it is actually really, really good. But alcohol, wine, a drink that can totally fit into a keto lifestyle and you can still continue to reach your goals and include it in your day to day. If you are having too much though and you find yourself hungover or craving foods, then that's where it can become a problem. Hey, cha cha. But a glass here and there is nothing to stress about. We're gonna have dinner. It looks so good. I've mixed it all up so it doesn't look very pretty, but I'll insert a picture so you can see what it looks like on the Well Club app, where this recipe is also available for anyone who is a Well Club member. It totally satisfies that takeaway craving that you feel <laughs> over the weekend. We're about to watch what we think is the last episode of. So we're starting Final Vows on Merit at First Sight Australia. It's been an interesting season, hasn't it? Has it has been wild. Yeah. It's been wild. So if you haven't watched it, definitely get into it. so that I can get it edited and live. Thank you so much for coming along on this weekend with us. I hope that you've seen that weekends don't have to be stressful, they can be fun, you can still stay on track and you can enjoy yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video very soon. Bye. Bye.